Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful seed bead stylish earrings with a crystal or without a crystal if you want. In my previous video I showed you how I'm making a matching bracelet to these earrings and now using the same element I'm making the earrings. I will show them really easy step by step and I'm sure by the end of this video you will be able to make them by yourself. I'm using really simple stuff, only seed beads, ear wires, you could use ear wires of any type and you could use crystals or you could even skip the crystals and the earrings will still look good. So now if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And it's a good idea to hit the bell because in this way you won't miss when I make a tutorial with matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done, like the bracelet and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials you could share them on my facebook page you could really help me by liking sharing and commenting this is a great support that i appreciate and i will answer to all of your questions down there in the comments you could check my store down there in description thank you so much for watching now i will start with the list of the material okay guys so what i need for these earrings are 11 o seed beads in two colors silver and black and i'm using here ear wires i use two crystals here teardrop crystals and here i use uh, nylon thread nemo beading thread which is 0 0.006 inches to 0 0.15 millimeters i use size 10 beading needle scissors and i'm going to take about five feet of thread on my needle which is about 1.5 meters and I'm going to start and I'm going to start by taking four of these beautiful black beads here they are and I'm going to slide them down I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going once and I'm going second time through the loop I've made and I'm pulling pull tight and I'm going to make one more knot here in this way I have a really secure knot surgeon's knot okay then what I want to do is go through the following seed bead like this now this is what I have in the center of my work and I will take three silver beads I'm going back in circle through this black one then I'm going through the following black taking three go here through this one then go through the following three go back in circle through the black this is what I have then I'm going through the next black one again take three beads and go back through here now you see what I have I have the center of my earring ready and now what I do is that I go through the next two silvers like that exiting out of the edge bit here I need to take five black beads okay I have my five here five and I'm going through this silver bead then I'm going to take five more okay five and go here then five again
and one last time. Okay, then you should go through these three black beads and pull. Here, what you need to take are three silvers and I will go back in circle through this black one. This is the middle black one. You see here I have two seed beads, I have two seed beads and this is the angle bead, which is the middle one. Then I will go through these two blacks and exit out of my silver here. And I will take three silver beads, go through this one, and if you can, in one movement, go through the next three black beads. Okay, and when you go through the next three, you're exiting out of this middle black bead here you have two and two okay and you need three go back in circle through this one and exit of the out of the next silver okay three silvers go back through this silver and through the following three beads And I will continue this until the end of this row. And here you see guys, I uh, finished this row and here I have one, two, three black beads at this side and I want to go through the middle black bead. Here I have one black bead and here I have one black bead and this is the middle one and I'm taking one silver and I'm going back in circle through this black one in the center you see i have something like a loop between the black one and this one okay then look at this side i have one two three black beads here and i want to go through the middle one and here i want one silver bead and i will go back in circle through the same bead in the center You see? Don't worry it bends and moves like this. I will fix it later with additional thread pad. Okay, then again I'm exiting out of the middle black. Taking just one, one silver. And I'm going back in circle through the black one. Okay. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now what I want to do is go through this black bead, these two black beads, and then what I do is that I will exit here at this corner bead, angle bead, you could also call it, and I'm going to take three black beads. And what I do is that I go back in circle through this silver. 
okay then I'm going through all of those beads here the next three silvers and I'm making them stay straight in one row okay and then I will take three black beads and I'm going back in circle through this silver you see what I have here I have a loop and my goal is to exit out of my next angle bead okay and I will take three okay I have my tree here going back here and through the next tree if you can do this in one movement okay and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm ready for my next row. And in my next row I'm going to take only silver beads, okay? I'm taking three silvers and as I'm exiting from this silver here at the angle, I will go through the next silver. Okay, and don't worry that this one bends a little bit and moves We'll fix this later with the last thread pad. Okay, and I will continue this. Three. Go here. Fix this. Okay. Then I need three more. Go here. Three more. And I'm going to continue this until when I'm up to here and then I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. I will do this off camera and see you here. Okay, and these are the last three beads I'm adding here. I'm pulling, okay, like this and press them. Uh, because you don't want your work to bend you should press them to stay flat okay and now it's time to make the final touch and uh, uh, the final thread pad to fix your earring to stay nice and tight okay now I will go through these three beads then I will go through this tree here And then here and through the following tree okay don't pull too tight make it stay nice okay then I'm going here then through this black and the following three beads if you don't make this last thread but your element won't look really good it will move and bend okay and I will continue this until the end of this row
Now, what I want to take are one black seed bead, then I want to take my ear wire and one more black seed bead. So this is what I have on my needle and I'm going here to make a loop. Okay. like this and now in this way I'm attaching my ear wire and now I will make a reinforcement of this place here okay now this is what I have and I want to reach here the other part and attach my crystal here okay and in order to do this, I'm going here around the edges of my work. I'm exiting here and now I'm going to show you how to attach your crystal. And as I'm exiting from this black bead, I will take two black beads. I will also take my crystal like that. And I'm sliding those down. Okay. And I will take three silver beads here. And I will slide them as well. And I will go through this crystal and through the first seed bead here after the crystal you see and here I skip my silver beads and I went through the crystal and through the black bead okay now I'm going to pull this as close as possible to my work and I'm going to take one black bead like this and I will go back in circle through this bead here. And I'm pulling. And when I pull, I have this. And I'm going to reinforce this part. Okay. Going through this black bead. Skipping this one here and going here. Okay, like this, then I will go through all of those beads in this direction, and here I'm going to make a knot, okay, I'm making a knot by making a loop and going once, going second time through the loop I've made and I'm pulling then I'm going through the following seed bead and then what I do is that I cut my thread here okay and now guys this is what I have I have one of my earrings ready okay guys and when I repeat all of those steps one more time this is what I have my seed beads and crystal earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And if you want to support me, you could like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And I'll answer to all of your questions down there in the comments. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye from me.